at the dog park. The importance of participating. Contents. 1. Assist the dog who is outnumbered. 2. Protect small dogs from big dogs. 3. Examples of humans interacting. One, assisting the dog who is being bullied or harassed. You're going to be watching this brown three-legged dog, and he's getting picked on by the Malamute and a small white dog, and the Newfie kind of comes in and out. Um, they'd been playing nicely for a long time, and the brown dog got tired, and he is trying to get them to stop, but they're both coming at him, and they're not listening to him ask them to stop. And this is really when an owner needs to come in here and advocate for the dog. In slow motion here, it's kind of obvious um, that the Malamute is pushing and not listening. And then it's a gang up. The little white dog and the Malamute um, pester him. The brown dog glanced at that man. Um, and when there's two dogs against one or three dogs against one, that dog just has no way to communicate, and uh, you wouldn't let this happen to a child. You shouldn't let it happen to a dog either. Um, there may be no bloodshed here, but this is really harassment. It's bullying, and it needs to be interrupted. I'll show you how to do the interrupting later on. Just want you to watch uh, in slow motion. Slow motion dog video is very instructive because you can really see a lot of the details that you just don't see when it's at normal speed. And here he is finally hiding under the bench, being circled, and uh, he sure could use some help. And you'll see the man standing to the left is going to come over eventually. It's not his owner. It's just a kind man. He's just going to come and give him some support. And while it's late, it's very uh, compassionate and needed. Dogs need an alliance sometimes. There he goes. It's always appreciated by the dog. You can see here in slow motion that the dog will come out. Sometimes all you have to do is just touch a dog, and uh, the other dogs realize that he's gotten an alliance and they should stop harassing. In this clip, it's the black lab mix that is being harassed and bullied by the reddish Doberman mix with the purple harness. He gets rolled, his tail's been tucked, his hackles are up, he's terrified, and he's backing off, and voila, he, he backs into his owner who was watching and intercepted. And you can see it diffuses the situation instantly. This black dog is terrified. He is not having a good time. And there's his owner. You can see just relief on that lab mix's face. And the other dogs just stop. They're not bad dogs. They're just engaging in bad behavior that needs to be interrupted by a human. Two, protecting small dogs from out of control large dogs. This is a man with a four month old puggle, and I believe it's the puggle's first um, time in the dog park. He's just received enough vaccinations to go out in public, and he's being mobbed at rather dangerously mobbed by two brindle dogs and a little white dog. Um, and the owner was absolutely correct in picking up his puppy. In this situation, you cannot leave a small dog or a puppy down there to fend for himself or to learn, you know, uh, discipline or manners because the other dogs are out of control and they're kind of being thugs. And um, whenever you pick up a small dog, do you make it more enticing to the other dogs? Yes, but you have no alternative. Leave that puppy on the ground and he's likely to get injured or killed. Pick him up and you might sustain a bite from an out of control dog but you would survive the event. Um, 
Small dogs are at particular risk at the dog park when they're mixed with larger dogs, and in particular larger out-of-control dogs. But you really don't want to see this uh, level of out of control um, anywhere with dogs. It's just not safe when you have a large muscular dog and you have no control. Um, so these dogs need more training um, and they need to be interrupted more when they are engaging. They were out of control with each other for about 15 minutes before this event occurred and they, are, they got really aroused during their play and then they just redirected it on this uh, little puggle who cannot defend uh, himself or herself. Three, examples of owners staying connected with their dogs. And in this uh, clip, uh, the man with the Malamute is just having a loving moment with his dog, which is really nice. When you connect with your dog at the dog park, you are physically um, and mentally and emotionally um, lowering his arousal. And you're also saying to the dog that uh, you're watching him, you're taking care of him, um, that you're part of his experience at the dog park. These two dogs uh, start playing roughly and the speed goes up and the arousal goes up and so the person is going to there say her name and they just disconnect her from the other dog. It was a perfect interruption and a loving one. Um, you just say her name and she'll turn around and there she's smiling at you, a little apologetic maybe. <laughs> It's really important to stay connected with your dog.